We're on Mexico's Baja Peninsula for one of the most gruelling off-road races in the motorsport calendar. With an extremely challenging route of sand, dust and rocky mountain trails ahead of us, it's time for the 52nd edition of the legendary Baja 1000. Building on a history of over half a century, the event has rightfully earned its reputation as one of the toughest off-road races in the world, and the 2019 edition will be no exception. With a massive one-day loop of 800 miles through Baja's unforgiving and diverse terrain, just reaching the finish line is an ambitious goal for most of the 264 competing vehicles, let alone fighting for a spot on the podium. Hot candidates for that fight are the two true Baja icons, Bryce Menzies and Andy McMillan. For once, the two Americans will not be competing, but instead join forces and potentially make the ultimate Baja dream team. And they're not the only surprising entry in this year's races. Two other household names in off-road racing will team up in the same truck and split the route. For both of them, however, it's going to be the first time ever to race in the Baja 1000. G'day mate, my name's Toby Price. Who am I looking at you? Yeah, ah, right. <laughs> my name is Nasser al I am from Qatar. I am rally driver. Having the reigning Dakar champions Toby Price, Nasser al and co-driver Matteo Baumel teaming up in one car is nothing short from a sensation. Together they combine an incredible amount of skill, passion and experience in off-road racing both on four and two wheels. I've been racing on a motorcycle since I was four years old, so it's just pretty much the, the only thing I know and the only thing I love to do. So any day I can get out on the motorcycle and race and, and ride, it's, um, it's always a good day. So for me, I, I just enjoy it, uh, the freedom and um, being able to basically yeah, go as fast as you want. It's the uh, best feeling in the world. I love rally ride. Um, it's uh, feel like freedom, you know. But the team is not only able to go flat out in the wide open desert, they also bring the necessary navigation skills to find their way to the finish line. So I'm Mathieu Baumel and uh, my job is uh, to be a co-driver. Rally co-driver and cross-country, so rally ride co-driver. I don't think I am a good driver. <laughs> um, no, first, I, I think to be a good co-driver, you need to know uh, how to drive. It's not mean that you are a pilot, but you know uh, to have this, the, the, a good feeling inside the car, that, like that you understand when you need to give the information to the, to the driver, and this is very important. A good uh, co-driver uh, should be uh, have a good skill for navigation, uh, strong mind, and uh, to make uh, easy life for driver. It's a luxury Toby Price usually doesn't get to enjoy. When racing his KTM rally bike, he's in charge of riding and navigating at the same time. It's um, quite a complicated uh, mix of, of racing and putting that road book and all the instruments in front of you to then try and ride a motorcycle anywhere above 100 kilometres an hour. Yeah, the, the speed and the level uh, at the moment in, in rally racing is very high and um, very difficult to, uh, to put it all together and um, navigate at speed, but uh, it makes it a challenge and that's what uh, I think keeps drawing everybody back. I, I just love riding bikes and I love being out and on, the, on a motorcycle and um, and just getting to meet the people along the way and experience new things and enjoy life and that's what it's what it's been about since I've been four years old so I think as soon as that love for actually riding goes away then that's when I think it's, it's time to hang the helmet up but I'm a, I'm a very long way short of, of that, uh, that area. Instead of hanging up his helmet, the two-time Dakar bike winner rather adds new disciplines to his skill set, such as racing the Baja 1000 as a trophy truck driver. In Ensenada, Mexico, the three met longtime Baja racer Jesse Jones, 
who put together their team and their 4x4 trophy truck. This is a completely uh, new stuff for us and uh, uh, we are coming from uh, Dakar Rally, we are coming from different uh, region and uh, me and Matthew first time here to be and uh, but it's look like really uh, nice to be here you know and we feel welcome. Yeah look, to bring Nasser into this uh, a three time Dakar champ it's um, yeah I think everyone's kind of a little bit shocked uh, no one really expected this to kind of come together and, and happen and um, yeah, to be a part of this with uh, Jesse Jones um, to get NASA here, it's uh, yeah, everyone's excited to see him here, and um, everyone's excited to hear his thoughts and takes on what the trucks are like. It's cool. It's going to be a, a big event for us, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to be teaming up with him. It's uh, kind of like a dream come true, really. But before that dream does come true, heavy rainfall gets in the way, causing the entire event to be delayed. Enough time to meet some of the toughest competitors. The sensational team of two absolute Baja heavyweights were joining forces for the first time. I'm Andy McMillan and we're in Baja, Mexico for the 2019 Baja 1000. Yeah, this year's a little different in that, uh, in that I'm teaming up with Bryce. It's our first time racing together. I'm really excited about it. So we're down here in Ensenada for the Baja 1000, um, biggest race of the year. This one, it's 800 miles, but some of the gnarliest 800 miles down here. And now you add in this rain that we've been getting for uh, the last two days. It's supposed to be all night tonight and tomorrow. So uh, this one's gonna be challenging. You know, it takes out the dust a little bit, but it adds a whole lot more of, we've been pre-running for two weeks and now everything's gonna change. So uh, all that homework is kind of out the window and almost start over, but uh, we love challenges. I think the harder the race is, I think it suits us that much better. You know, my family has been racing in Baja since 1976. Um, so we've been down here quite a while. My whole life uh, has been coming down here and, and going to the races with, with my family, watching my, my grandfather, my uncle, my dad race. Um, and then just, you know, growing up in it and idolizing, you know, them and then the other top racers and just always wanted to be one of them, you know, when I grew up. So you know, here we are 43 years later and uh, continuing on the family tradition and, uh, and going to try to win another Baja 1000. It was one of those years where I was trying to figure out who to team up with. Just having somebody like Andy McMillan, he's been down here for you know, 40, 50 years with his family legacy. So uh, the knowledge that they bring to the, the field and then also the support that they bring as well. He's, he's one of the fastest and best guys out here. So you know, what's that saying? If you can't beat him, join him. So, uh, so we took both of our teams and we're joining forces. To, uh, to try and conquer this Baja 1000. You know, our team and their team really link up and put everything into one race. Kind of gave us the, the best option to go win a race. I wouldn't want anybody else teaming up with. You know, it's gonna be a gnarly race. It's only 800 miles, but uh, it's, a, it's a grueling 800 miles. And Mike and Rally Raid will all participants face multiple stages over several days. The Baja 1000 challenges them with one enormous single day race, during which all teams can swap their drivers. This time we start in Ensenada and head south along the Pacific coast. Bryce Menzies and Andy McMillan plan their swap after 371 miles. Long after nightfall, we'll reach the 540 mile checkpoint, where Toby Price and Nasser Alatia plan their swap. After that, it's a long stretch into the dark night back to Ensenada to complete the loop of 800 miles. Unlike Rally Raid, where pre-runs are forbidden, checking out the route is an important part of racing at the Baja. It's going to be challenging. We're going to have to go do our homework all day tomorrow, pretty much run our whole section the night before the race just to see it because it's changing all day. And, you know, um, I think whoever does that really goes out and researches and makes sure they know every spot of the race course after all this rain falls is probably going to be that winner. Well, here we are. This is pretty much when the uh, official pre-run kind of kicks off and starts. We're taking NASA and uh, Matthew through to work out um, what Baja is all about. We've got old Red ready to go. Trucks are taking a bit of a beating. This is going to be NASA's one today. Boys getting ready. What do you reckon, boys? Yeah. We yeah, are ready. Hey. Boys, it'd be good to go. Here's yeah, the drink. It's a big drink. <laughs> the Baja experience is so much different.
gassing up. Get some food. What do we need, mate? We need some drinks. Oh, we think about this one. Yeah, these ones up here. Little ones, mate, or what? Big ones. Yeah, go big or go home, man. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You grab the big ones, then we'll be on. You. There you go, mate. Thank you. No problem. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, mate. You got that? <laughs> first time NASA gets to take their trophy truck for a spin, the 4x4 machine is an absolute beast with more than twice the horsepower of his trusted Rally Raid Toyota. drive for the first time and looks like uh, we tipped it over onto its side but no damage whatsoever both drivers are okay and um, we'll just put some duct tape on her and she's ready to go race the thousand it was good uh, <laughs> until uh, until a one corner that uh, I don't know the car was moving a little bit outside of the the roads and touching on the side and make us uh, make a little roll so I'd be better that we uh, we had that today, that during the race, but okay, we feel a little bit sad because it's not uh, usual uh, to have that, but it's happened, so better to have it now than tomorrow. How, before that though, is it good? <laughs> yes. It's just, we, we was going slow. I understand. You know, it's, it's a finished gear and just... Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. But did you like the truck? Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah, is it nice. good? Yeah. Excellent. No, I'm not worried about that. I worry about you too. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah you know, when, when a driver makes a mistake or a co-driver makes mistakes, it takes time a little bit to, uh, to, keep, uh, to keep, again, uh, your confidence, but uh, you can trust us. We'll be okay for tomorrow for the race, 100%. And to leave the incident behind, Nasser and Matteo head out for another spin and they quickly regain their full confidence. Fantastic, you know, I think we'll have a good uh, good run in this uh, Baha 1000. And the big day is here. After all the tests and preparation, the 52nd edition of the Baha 1000 is finally about to kick off. This is always the nervous part, you know, we're at the start line of the Baja 1000, biggest race of the year. I'm going to play it smart, get through all this stuff, give Andy a good truck, and then he's got a long ways to go to the finish. Look, we're, we're very excited, very pumped to be here, and uh, Baja's amazing. The people here, the atmosphere, it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a whole other world. Bit of a dream come true, two Dakar champs in one car, it's, uh, it's been cool. The boys have done a great job, and uh, we're, we're keen to get this underway.
It's a solid start for Toby Price as he makes his way down the Pacific coast. Also, Bryce Menzies is well on track, manoeuvring the big Macmillan Chevy down the Baja Peninsula. Menzies is building up a solid lead until suddenly the unpredictable water and mud takes its toll. I believe he thought that there was a wide open flat spot and a, and a shallow pool of water prior that he hydroplaned across, but then right after that there was a massive pool and it is hydroplaned. He was just about to pass our Sierra in the middle of that or crash or hit him, so it spun backwards and uh, he ended up facing backwards in the, uh, the race course. So gathered himself up, went down a little way, spun around when it was safe and we kind of just took back off from there. It was probably about 10 minutes or so, he was right back up on them and then they had a pass on the beach. So it worked out okay, but it definitely could have been a bad day. Menzies recovers quickly and climbs back the lead. With his experienced teammate Andy McMillan taking over shortly, is the race already decided so early on? Race mile 371, um, it's about 5.30 at night. We're gonna change all four tires here. This is the only time we're gonna do all four because we're all wheel drive. So we're gonna change the front tires first, do the driver change, change the rear tires full of fuel and, uh, and take off hopefully around 45 seconds. Um, that would be a great pit. But yeah, it's, it's a really big team effort between you know Bryce's guys and my guys and, and all the chase crews. Um, so it makes it exciting. But despite the good standing, but Miller knows it's not always an advantage to be in front. You know, being first on the road is it's nice, but it's a little bit sketchy at the same time being the first truck. So you have to be a little bit extra cautious, a little bit extra wary because um, you're the first truck and you're the first one coming through and maybe the fans aren't, aren't ready for you. Um, but it's also good because it makes, makes me slow down a little bit and, um, and yeah, just make sure that uh, we're extra safe and cautious and uh, get us to the finish line. As far as I know, they're coming in in the lead, but I'm just sitting here trying to be, trying to do positive thoughts. Hopefully he gets in and he gets out and everything's good. But unfortunately for the leaders, the positive thoughts don't pay off. Well, at race mile 308, we got a report that uh, his tracker wasn't tracking anymore and we called Fishistics and they told us that when uh, when it, when it doesn't respond like that in 30 minutes it updates, it means it's upside down. So we actually found that out. So then we started to talk to people that were coming through. We talked to a motorcycle guy. He said definitely he, had, he, had, he was on his lid. So now we were working up towards going back up to Mike's and coming back around with the race course to get him. And he got over, he got back over and he's moving. So he's about 40 minutes out. So the truck is running. We don't know who helped him because our, our crew hadn't got there to him. So we don't know who helped him to get that truck back over on the wheels. But he said everything is running good and we're, he's expected to come in here at, at race mile 371 in about 40 minutes. got to uh, main pit, uh, we were first on the road, and about 30 miles from here I uh, tried to center and miss a water puddle and clipped a bush and behind the bush was a massive rock and it sent us on two wheels 
and uh, I turned into it and saved it that way, but then it, it hiked and uh, flipped. So just uh, not what we wanted, man. Uh, the whole plan was to give Andy a, a good truck in, in the lead, and we had that, and I threw it away. So this one's all on me. Um, hopefully Andy can uh, make up some time and still win that championship, but I'm just sorry, bums. And uh, we'll keep chasing him to the finish. It's a big blow for the team of Baja All-Stars. After rolling the car before McMillan took over, the chances of winning are essentially gone. <laughs> Meanwhile, Toby Price is keeping a steady pace and their driver swap is still to come. Yeah, it's uh, just uh, we are waiting uh, for Toby, you know, Toby really he did an uh, amazing job, you know, now he's uh, uh, third of our hole, you know, and uh, we try, you know, to keep the position. If we can uh, push, uh, I will try, you know, but okay, in this uh, moment uh, we are uh, really quite happy and uh, I am here in, uh, in uh, miles uh, 5.35 and uh, just waiting for the track and to jump and uh, to start. We, we had a pretty good day, so I think we ended up starting around 28th, 29th or something, and I think now we're around the fourth or fifth truck overall. Um, Bryce actually unfortunately had a roll, so I hope he's all good with um, Andy McMillan. But yeah, other than that, we had a good pace, we had a good day, and oh, look, yeah, we're, we're happy, we're stoked, and phew, it's, it's been a long day, but um, unfortunately for me, that's, that's my Baja 1000 done, so. We've handed it off to NASA now, and um, I think he's pumped and stoked and ready for it, and um, we'll see if he can wheel him in and do what we can. It's a long and gruelling race through the endless night of the Baja Peninsula. Over 16 hours after the start, the first vehicles start to approach the finish line back in Ensenada. And one of the first vehicles to roll in is none other than the truck of NASA Alatia and Toby Price. Unofficially second place here in the BF Goodrich Score Baja 1000. Presented by Wow, well, look, yeah, to be here at the finish line like this is, uh, it's amazing. We're still not too sure on the corrected timers yet, but uh, looks like we might be second. Um, if not, if we're third, we're st I'm still pumped. So it's uh, very, 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 very unexpected to be on the podium. Um, NASA did a great job. And how he's feeling on his second place finish. And he was sitting currently in second place in points. Yeah, this is first uh, Baja for me and first experience with the terrain and uh, with the big car, you know. But OK, uh, we learn a lot and uh, I'm, I'm quite happy. Uh, and the final results are in. Dakar winners Nasser Alatir and Toby Price take second place and their first ever entry into the legendary Baja 1000. It's fantastic, you know, really I enjoy a lot, you know. Thank you know for the teams. Thank for Toby. Thank for all the sponsor. You know Red Bull, uh, uh, BF Goodrich Tires. You know. It's long, a long time. You know, dream to come here. You know, to to race in this spa. You know, and now we are here and uh, we finish top three uh, in the podium. And uh, first time I drive this car. You know. It's totally different from what we use in, uh, in Dakar. But we enjoy a lot. I am sure, you know, for next year we come, uh, come here again and we, we fight and we try to, to win this race.